<laughs> Just a simple answer. Would you be that person? <laughs> Ken, surely. You know, surely. You know, why, why is this issue of wealth? A it's very, a requirement. A very, no, a very big issue when you have William Ruto. You never ask anybody else. No, we no, ask. The, the president said that there will be law that will be passed for a lifestyle audit. The president himself said he will be number one, and this man, William Ruto, will be number two. So what is the, what is the problem? I have absolutely no issue. I declare wealth every two years as required by law. When the requirement to make it public uh, will, will be passed, I mean, it's not for me to choose whether to obey the law or not. Every Kenyan will, 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 will know uh, uh, what William Ruto owns. You, you have mentioned the son of a peasant mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all, and mm -hmm. perhaps that's the reason why we're asking. So I'll take you back to your journey. Mm -hmm. 1992 is the first time William Ruto was introduced to the public light with YK92 when you're youth. Um, you were barely 26 years, so you're 26 years then. Uh, presumably, you are a teacher at some point, a preacher, and then you became a chicken seller. In 1997, you became MP4 Eldoret North, all the way to when you went in uh, 2013, 2012, when you ran for uh, a joint ticket with President Uru Kenyatta. You served in the cabinet also, right, before then. In the 28 years of your active politics, having enumerated your journey from 1992, where you have admitted yourself, preacher, chicken seller, sometimes a teacher, then politics, YK92, you think this period of 28 years, you're capable to have done what you have done today, with the little we know that has not been made public by you, that you cannot tell us how much you're worth. Because if you told us I'm worth a billion shillings, I'll ask you, in the 28 years, you think it's possible to have amassed one billion shillings, but we don't know how much you have. How did you have a billion shillings? Now I'm asking, for example, if, if you told me, okay. if you told me you're worth a billion shillings, let I'm going to ask you, you a direct let me ask question. You, let me ask you a question. Yes. How old is Sugabaga? On Facebook. How old is he? Just getting out of teenage, g getting out of youth. How much is he worth? Billions of shillings, but Your Excellency, so we're talking about it, it, your journey. You, you cannot tell me that a teenager can possibly be the richest man on earth and a 53-year-old man should own nothing. I mean, surely, give me some credit. Okay. I'm a businessman. <laughs> you're, you're a businessman. I, I, I work hard. I, I, I have been a public servant for member of parliament for close to 25 years. I have been deputy president now for eight years. I, I surely. Why is it not I so easy for I you just to state this position the same way you're stating this other position? Which, which other position? Which other just position? how much is William Ruto? <laughs> why is it so difficult? Why, why is it information that is held too close to your chest? <laughs> My friend, it is because of the deceit that is around this question. And it is because nobody gets asked this question except William Ruto. The day you ask these other people, and they answer. Then we come back and answer you. Yeah. You want 